Whoa, hello friends, how's it going? This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail. American campaign, of course. The next battle is Bunker Hill. And although this is an easy campaign, I do have scaling on, so I have to see what the difference is when you add scaling to the game. Because easy is supposed to be easy. Like, I've already beat it on hard difficulty with scaling, so you don't have to tell me to go play hard. I've already played it. I just want to enjoy money and stuff like that. But I think before I do this, I'm going to eventually want uh, better guns for my ships because I should have extra money to be able to do that. So now i got to find it. Okay, right here. So I, I'm going to need Industry 1 four pounder and six pounder naval guns that's going to cost three thousand of my six thousand and it's going to cost three of my five reps I, i'm really low on rep but i i think i want to do that because i want that to be added and now we're going to go over here and see okay so yeah okay okay so after the first battle um when I showed you what I did in the harbor, um, when I looked at this, I, there was no guns in here. So by me doing that before, the, before fighting the next battle, um, so it's got 46 of these, 48 of those, 14, 32, 18, yeah, and I like these right here. Oh, and I like these right here. So this way, but again, I'm going to need rep. Because I can't, you know, I can't, like, if I wanted to buy some of these, it's going to cost a rep and stuff. So, but these are in what's in the stock right now. So I'll be looking forward to that because I used to like the wool roots right here. But it's old generation. And then these, a unique example of the latest generation. So so I, I like these, like I will equip my ships with these. The six pounder and probably the four pounder. Only if I can afford it and stuff like that, but that's why I wanted to buy that right now. Because maybe after this battle they'll put some more in the armory. I'm not I'm not hundred percent certain. But anyways, this 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 video is gonna be about uh this battle right here. You can only bring one ship. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is Bunker Hill, I'm gonna get 48 and I'll get six, so that'll turn to eight and get two prep points and four thousand hmm all right well here we are got the earlson with two units of 185 And like I said, this is on easy, but it's with scaling, so I, I, I don't know if that's going to... Because with easy, they're supposed to have 25% less strength. But does scaling, you know, bump that up? Like, So then what's the point of putting scaling on if you want to play easy? But I don't know. Like, I, I need to answer that question. All right. We're going to skip this only because we, you know, it's basically this is what it is. So now I know I notice certain things that I do for this battle. We got this ship here, that one. Oh yeah, and this big one is coming to dump all that out on us. So I think they'll dump out 500 there. They'll probably dump out a couple hundred on this one. And I don't know what this ship will dump out. 
But anyways, the battle is on. So now we see that gun right there. So the first thing I want to do is I want to have him shoot him. And I want this guy to shoot him too. Now these are probably my guys right here. I don't want to get them killed yet. But um, I think what I'll do, I'm going to take this to 75. And I'm going to kind of put him right about there. And this one, I'm going to put him right in the middle here. Then my guys are going to go over here. Now this one guy I'm going to put right over here. This gun can go right there. This unit can go right over here for now. But I think I want these two guys to head that way. And what I do over here is I take this guy off and I put him right about here. And this guy goes right over here. And the reason is because those ships are going to be blasting him. And we don't want to get him to lose morale and just get wasted. So, And then these three guys or units are going to go right here. Um, I don't think I'll run them. I'll let them walk so that way... And what we always get is two supply wagons that are so hard to get to the battle. Like, I mean, it, it's... And I, I never pay attention to when they, they show up here. But with that said, we'll just let it... We'll let the battle begin. So we see that one there, so we want to work on that gun right there. Now he just showed up. Like, I've done this many times on hard where I pulled all these guys off, but this is a, like, on hard I usually don't play this battle. I play the, the one where you, you escape, you have to escape through here. But, uh, but I'm playing easy, so therefore I'm going to do this battle because... But I, but I got to see what scaling does. But anyways... Yeah, so he, he started out at 50. All right, I think what I should do is let all three go after over there. Because these three are coming over here. I have three, and I'm going to have another three. Should hold those guys off. I could even move this cannon over here to hit them. So, uh, yeah, why don't I do that? Or, no, I, I, I think I'd rather have it here. You can shoot at him. Alright, guys, if you're not gonna, you gotta move. Okay. Get right there. You gotta get right there. All right, and you're, you're first here, so you go right there, then. You go right there. Okay, so you're going to engage him. You're going to engage him. 
you engage. Oh, no. I gotta... Okay, hold on now. You gotta charge him, and you gotta charge him. You guys... He, he's wavering. There must... There, yeah, that's right. There's a cannon, some uh, artillery unit over here. Yeah, that's right. Charge and charge him. Come on. 200 and 200. Let's see how that goes. As a matter of fact, I can bust the unit off here. I can bust the unit off here. And now you go after the artillery. You go after the artillery. Now we got a prisoner. We're going to send him over here. Hey guys, while you're here, why don't you guys just charge him? Right? Let's just do that. Come on, there's three of you. Let's try to take advantage of him, seeing I have three units right here. Come on, you guys. You guys should be able to just take him out. What's wrong with you? Okay, now you get after him. You go after him. You get after him. And you can go engage him just to keep him busy. All right, now I'm going to pause for just a moment. Uh, let's see if our supply wagon showed up. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, here he is. Now, a long time ago... Um, like six months ago playing this game these guys here would shoot these and just kill them off so they they might have helped to change that but we gotta get a supply wagon over there that's the first one and there'll be another one and sometimes I do this whole battle without even having these like forget all about them all right now I don't see that there used to be an art where is the artillery unit that's over here I don't see it so then this is going to be chancy but we're going to we're going to head that way I guess. Now I should have 3 infantry. What happened to the other infantry unit? Am I not seeing it? Okay, like I I committed 3 units. Did one just magically disappear? Folks? Right? I took the three... I took the three units from here. Or did one get wiped out? Huh. One must have got wiped out. Well, either way, um... We're going to head over here. <laughs> okay, so. All right, let's go ahead and. All right, now let's let's do this for a moment. Okay, you blocked. How can he be blocked? All right, look, you just go right there then. You go after him. And, and you go over this way too. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so now what we want to do is you three and you engage him. So we keep him busy. Now these guys are, are skirmishers, so they're going to die off real quick. But that means I, I hope that he can get over here to shoot at him. And I'm just telling those two to go shoot him. And you're going to go shoot him. Like, we're going on the offense a little, and... You know, they're going to get supported by their ships, but I'm just going to take a chance. Because if I can get one of these guns, I'll bring it back to here, then that'll just help me later on. Because these two are, are still shooting at that one, so they'll, they'll kill that one off. Now this guy's going to get over here. All right. Alright. 
I guess I should try to get some prisoners here. Yeah, and we just did. Perfect. All right, so you move that way. As a matter of fact, this guy, I'm going to send him that way. And now you get on that one. You get, well, we're going to get hit by a ship, but we got to take the chance. And now you get right over there. And I'm going to commit you to. Alright, and now how are we doing over here? Okay, so one skirmisher got killed off. And you you're not in position yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to run. I mean, it's bad to do that, but I'm gonna tell him to run because I want him in position to shoot this guy. And you I'm gonna I don't know, are you in the arc to shoot him? Nope. So I'm gonna tell you to run because you're gonna You're gonna get right there, okay? Now I know more units are coming, so that's why we got to do this real quick. If I, can, uh, I just want to be able to keep him occupied, get this gun here, and and try to get it back over here, and then retreat because you know they they they're all coming from here and here. I mean, there's a whole bunch coming right now, and and these two guns are doing their job. They got him down to 19, and that's what they're still doing. And you're trying, you're trying to get right about there. You're trying to get to there, and you're going to get right there. I guess I can go ahead and put you on that, and I'll put you on that for now. Because the ships kind of stopped while their, sh their enemy were here, so... We'll do that. Because if we can get a lot of prisoners, that'll help the campaign. Alright, so that's going to do that. And now... You gotta be definitely shooting him, and you're shooting him. Hey, and he's done. So now what I think I'll do is I'll put these guys on that infantry unit. That'll help him hang in there because depends on what he's gonna is he gonna shoot him or is he gonna shoot him. And now that he's gone, so I think you know like I'm really happy with the way it's going at the very moment yeah and see how long it takes and we didn't get the other one i don't think yep nope okay i right, a ship over there there's a ship there all right here we go Yeah, once these these open up on him. Oh, see, he opened up on him and he's already waved him. And now, the problem with this is, if he keeps wavering, he might end up going over here and getting killed by the ships or something. And no, hey, that ship's taken off. I mean, I I have to take a chance on this. Alright, why don't you charge him for a moment? I might be able to bring one more unit over there. Alright, why don't you go? Why don't you go? Yep, see I'm gonna lose that unit. Oh, and I didn't even know we have somebody right there. All right. You got to get there. And you got to get right there. All 
All right, well, let's wipe this unit out right here. All right, now he, now he came back, so now you get back over there. Oh, nope, you got somebody to fight right here. Okay, so you, you're going to fight him. Keep him busy. You get over there. Yeah, no, 292, you shoot him. And then it's 275 gets right there. Because we got to try to protect the guns. Okay, what happened? Oh, Fourfoot surrendered. Oh, he ran into this unit here. Nice. All right, I think I'm going to take the prisoners and just send them over here. And now that frees these guys up so they can get going. And I don't think I need him here so he can go up there. And I'll put this one right there. All right, you guys' job is to take that gun right there, please. And you're just going to hold. Now, where's our supply wagon? Man. Yeah, look at this, man. All right. This supply wagon has to get over here. Uh, it's time for my guys to get into the action. Well, if he's blocked, then move over there, please. And that goes for you, too. See, they like shooting at the little guy. So I'm, I'm trying to take advantage of that with uh, Davis and Eastman. So we'll get free shots on him without getting shot at. And Prescott right there, and Wilcox. And then I'll get Illis in it, and that'll take care of him. Okay, so now we got that gun right there. You get it, and you go shoot him. Hey, just in time, I got Reed over here to take care of this guy right here. Nice. All right, I'm going to get my units back up here. We got to protect those guns. Oh yeah, and here's the other supply wagon. Let's 
see like the the battle is almost over on the hour left and the first supply wagon didn't even make it to the battle and the second one <laughs> you know what I mean like but anyways I don't plan on finishing this right away anyways so this gonna be might be a long video but all right look guys um why don't you go after that one you and you do this one you go after that one and you go after that one Okay, I'm sending this gentleman over here to go over there. Oh, no. There he is. Okay, so what I'm doing here is Eastman is mine and I think Davis is. Oh, now what happened? How is this guy wounded? I mean, really? Alright, you shoot him and you come off and you go shoot him. Now here, we got all these guys right here. Like everybody should be shooting at him. Matter of fact, guys, why don't you just, you know, charge him? Doesn't it make sense to charge him? Yeah, I know they're gonna get out of condition and all that stuff, but it's okay. Okay, now you shoot that guy there. Oh, we got another prisoner, so that's always good. Now that prisoner can go over here. Okay, and we got our first supply wagon. Hey, you know what? Let me get the second supply wagon to go over here. Yeah, because what I want to do in this is, um, okay, I got this gun here. Why don't you shoot at him? Try to kill that unit off. Now you, over there, please. Ellis, you get over there. You're getting over there. Yeah, see, th this ship is shooting over here. Ah, he's shooting at this unit here. Okay. Alright, I'm going to send that unit to over here. Just like the supply wagon's going over there. Now, Madison's not being shot by him. 
So that might mean that I can bring this gun right there and shoot at that ship. But it's empty at the moment and... And maybe I'll bring the supply wagon over there. All right, now see what I don't like about this is my Eastman went to follow the follow. No, you get back over here. And Davis, fall back, fall back, fall back. We don't want to get hit by the ships. Like I don't mind the allies going after them, but I, I don't want my two units to do that. They're just going to come up here to protect the, the objective. Oh, I see. Now you get over here. Protect the gun, boys. Protect the gun. We just want to do things to get these guys away from the gun. Okay, that one just, wow, a gun just wiped him out. Oh, and we got a unit right there now. Get over it. Oh, yep. See, this is the bug where your, your unit is stretched out. So they need to fix that. Now, this gun, and again, um, this gun is supposed to get over here. Just have Davis protect the flag. Alright, so yeah, so this, 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 okay, now, here it is. What is this? Just, oh, it's a six-pounder. Nice. Could have been a four, but it's a six-pounder. Nice. What is this one? And this is six-pounder, too. No, no, it says four-pounder. Now this says six pounder, but it's a four pounder. So wait, did I read that wrong? Let's see. It says field artillery, but this is a six pounder. They just have a little bit better range, I think. So his job is gonna be to sink that ship. As long as the ship ain't shooting at him, that's okay. Uh, you, you go right there. Oh, he's shooting at the supply wagon. Not good. Now, how are we doing over here? We got this. Oh, okay. We got the supply wagon waiting. My question is, is he shooting at the supply wagon? I'm going to bring him over here to see if he shoots at him. And you know what? I think I can take this 168, put him on the flag. And that means I can take Eastman To just walk over there and Davis to just walk over there so they can get some stanima. So I'll be farming that a little bit. Alright, so now he has arrived to give this one ammo. And, and notice how he wants to shoot at the infantry. I'd rather have him shoot at the ship. Because this is a land battle and I just want to hit those for something extra to do. You know, to, uh, as an object, not an objective, but something. 
So now I'm going to need an artillery. Can any of these move? Yeah, they can. All right. So you get over there. All right, so again, his job is to kill that ship. But see how he wants to, he wants to shoot at him? So I'm going to have to push these guys way out there then because I, I want him to focus on the ship. So I have to move this guy over here to get so that way he doesn't see him. Yeah, look at the damage that it just did right there. And now you... And I'll have this supply wagon head over here to give this one ammo. So we got 60, we got 61, and we have 60, 76. Okay, so you can finish right now. So what I think I can do is go a little bit faster now. Or I can go really fast. Alright, so as you can see, the ship is getting really badly damaged. Right? Oh, so Illus got hurt just by fighting this one unit right here. Okay, now Gun, you're supposed to be shooting the ship here. So that means I want you to kill this guy off because I don't want that gun shooting at him. Now get over there and get him there. Now you... You shoot that ship. That's your job. Shoot that ship. That's right. Yeah, shoot the ship. I came over here to give you some ammo, so go ahead and do that. Oh man, you're getting low on supplies, but you look like yeah. And, and, and here's the thing that I, I brought this up with a dev just to you know let you guys know that the way the game is set up, these ships, no matter what you do to them on a land battle, they will not give up. They will they will sink, blow up, do whatever you know like, and then the guys on here will head to another ship. Because, you know, my thought was, and I thought about this like six months ago, that if you could get it to, to give up, you could, put a, you could put one of these units on here, lifeboat, come over here and get it, and then you could use this ship to shoot at those ships over there. But every time I do this, it won't happen. So now what I got to do is I got to figure out, does this ship have guns? So I'm going to bring a unit over here. And this supply wagon, I'm going to bring over here so it'll give this one ammo. Now this ship, how's he doing on that one? Yeah, look at, look at that ship. So now what I'm trying to do over here is I'm trying to find out...
Okay, he's done. Oh, yeah, so they, they, oh, he does shoot. Okay, now, can you go over here? Yeah, this is going to get some allies killed, but... Okay, so there's no way of... All right, so now they're going to get killed, but there's no way of... All right, so now let me see. Let's see if I can get Reed over here. Yeah, and here's something that happens in the game, and they've never changed it. When they lose their morale, they run towards the enemy. I mean, it's it's the stupidest uh, system or mechanic that they got in the game. That they like and, and like even when when it's reversed, like I'm over here, I shoot at an enemy, the enemy goes to the shore where the ship can even shoot even better at them. Like, I'm trying to get him to just get out of there, and he won't. Now, this guy here, I'm trying to get him over here. All right, now, that ship, that's done. So now, this gun... I think this gun can head to here to shoot this ship. And this gun is already uh, shooting this ship. And like I said, they just will not give up. Like, we'll, we'll sit and watch for a moment. Like, look at that. Okay, so my question about putting him here... Does that mean I can then take this gun and get it over here? And this gun has to come... this way. Just in case he tries to do something, I'll have that unit over here. Okay, so now, by putting this gun here, he can shoot at... Oh, but he can shoot at him too, so he better shoot at him then. Yeah, if he... If he stays here, no, no, see, he wants to target him. So Donna, I'm going to have to tell him to get over here. We got to kill this guy. Because cause we can't have artillery. There, there, now. Now can you focus on the ships, please? Yeah, I want, I want to kill them off. Now. Oh yeah, they'd rather shoot at him and I'll let them kill him, I don't care. Uh he served his purpose. Now this ship is shooting at that one. And where is the other gun? Right here. So maybe I can get this gun right here to shoot at that ship. Let's give it a try. And ammo now what?
And the reason I'm leaving him here to get shot at is he's he's wasting his shots over here. And only that back gun is shooting at this one. So now at this level here we're not really doing much damage. Yeah, it says that this is a four pounder. But we're going to see how this gun does against that ship right there. Now watch when he opens up on him. Why can't he shoot him? Let's see. Uh, you you, you got to be able to shoot at him, man. Just get right there, then. Jeez. Okay, good. Hey, as long as he can shoot him, that's all I care about. <laughs> Oh, and there's a ship right here, too. Alright, so, hey, look at This one's been shooting this one. I haven't been paying attention. And this one's done. So, supply wagon can go there. And this gun here. Yeah, I don't know where to position it, though, but maybe... Maybe right here. And why don't you go there so we can see if they'll shoot at us. So yeah. Yeah, see, no matter what though, they make them sink. I mean, I think it's a deliberate thing that the dev made sure happens. So you have no possibility of capturing one of these in a land battle. Now in an amphibious battle, then yeah, but not in a land battle. Like this is strictly a land battle. Where they're landed and attack us. So in these type of battles, the Spitfire has sunk. Yeah, see that, that ship didn't stand a chance to this part one here. So now I'm going to send him right there. He's got to be able to... Okay, now he has to go around this way. I don't see why he couldn't just go over there, but... Alright. Alright, so now this six-pounder will shoot at him. Yeah, look at that. Somebody else sunk. Yeah, this one's sunk. See what I mean? The ships sink, and then they, they go to the next ship that it's available. They won't come to the land. They'll, they'll go to their ships. And... All right, I'll send these guys over here. All right, well, we might might lose a gun, but, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's, this is just the end of the battle. I'm just trying to get the gun in a position where you can shoot at him. Alright, now he should be able to shoot, if he can stand uh, from getting shot by this. Yeah, there we go. 
Got some hits on him. And while he's shooting at him, I'll be getting the other one in position over here. And maybe the angle, he won't be able to get me. So even if I lose this one, I'll have this one over here. And how are we doing on this big boy over here? And a supply wagon will go right here, maybe. Now, Eastman and Davis are my guys. So now that all these ships are gone, I can tell my guys to go to here. And uh, maybe they'll build up some Stanima. So now we're going to see if the Roth can take him out before he takes Roth out. And this one is almost in place. And he's got supply right here. And I put that infantry there th so that way he'd shoot at him too to distract him while I get this one in place. Now what is this one? It says a four. Alright, I just want him to be able to shoot at him. Yes, yes, he can. Alright. So these are the guinea pigs and this is the one that will take him out. And we got supply right here to give him supply. So, so let's take a peek over here. It's taken a long time to get the Somerset. But, as a matter of fact, I'm going to move him closer so he can get a little bit better shot. And I'm going to move him closer too. Let's see if he can get a little bit closer. No, I guess not. All right, we'll just stay there then. Yeah, see, he's firing, but he's in a position where he can't hit him, so that is awesome. Because you'd wonder why he wouldn't turn this way to blast these guys, <laughs> but I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm just killing him. Now, what's gonna happen is... These guys will all end up on these ships over here, and, and then there's no way of me getting to them. Because you can't land here. That I've already tried it. I know you can't. There's no beach. And they cut this off, so there's no way... There's no way of getting to it. I mean, I can go on, uh, I can go on these lifeboats, like, like, for example, I could put this guy right on a lifeboat. You know, but what's the point if I can't land anywhere? Yeah, see... Like, I'll just prove it that you can't. I mean, there's no beach here. And he's probably going to shoot at him anyway, but... The Seabirus have sunk. Yep, so this ship sunk, didn't... Hey! And, and this guy retreated. Yeah, I'm just showing you that there's no way that you can do it. 
So I thought maybe you could land over here and then shoot at those ships, but you can't. There's no way. So yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna do this until this ship sinks. Um, I already won the battle. It's just to show you that you can you can just you can destroy all the ships that are around here. And my two guys, they're gonna head back over here, just maybe to build up some stamina while this happens. And I could probably run them just to make them go faster. They're going to burn up their condition, but maybe that'll help their stamina. I don't know. Oh yeah, so he, he must have lost the guns. So Roth, Roth, so that ship did wipe out the, the guns over here. This is just the crew. Oh, the Somerset has sunk. Yep, so the guns will shoot at him. Yep, look at all this. Look at all that. And there's nothing you can do about it. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Because you cannot get on a ship because they always sink. But I'm going to tell you that it's still fun to do, though. So yeah, look, they're all going to get on here. Look at that. Did everyone, was everyone, yep, every one of them got on there. Alright, so 693. So these two ships don't have guns. They're the transports that don't have guns. And that's what I'm saying, like, if you could have got over here, you could have easily just come right to here, put all the guns right here, and just blast away at them. And what, be, what would be even more fun is if these guys could then land on the beach, and you could have all your troops right here to just blast away at them. I mean, that would be so much fun, but... Okay, the game, the, the uh, battle is over, uh, there's no more ships to sink. And we got some prisoners, um, and so we'll go ahead and finish, and my guys got here now. I don't know if they built, no, that's not my guys, where's my guys? Oh, here they are. All right, let me see. Stanima. So, Stanima is 62. His stamina is 56. I just want to see if, if uh, like, you know, I should end this, but I, I, I just want to see if, if that's going to change. And of course they're exhausted, I bet. Let me see. No, he's got, Eastman's got condition. 62, can I... Hey, 64. All right, and you got 57. Can I can I run you? Let me see if it, his goes up. I know the other guy was 62, and then I seen it go to, uh... Let me see, you're at 57. But you went from 62 to 64, so he went from 62 to 64. Yeah, he just went to 58, okay. 
He just got to 58. So yeah, you can, um, like, I guess I could, let me do, all right, I'm going to tell them to go there now, and then I'll end it. So you can fast forward out of this. So one of these guys is at 58, right? Yeah, Davis, and this one's now at 65. So he's at 58, and this one is at 65. So 58 and 65. I'm going as fast as I can, so I can't really do it, but I am going to end the video when it gets to over here. So let's just take a peek of while they're doing that. And I think it was 58 and 65, right? And notice Davis is getting past him. So yeah. So while that's going on, let's just take a last look at this. Now this was easy easy land and easy sea but with scaling and to be honest I didn't have did, do you think I, I didn't have any major problem with this so like I got a victory they never got the flag on hard difficulty with scaling, they, they get these flags and they, they just come like crazy and stuff. So much so that I I don't play this. I don't play this on hard. I, I believe I play this. I don't even do this. I do the, I do the uh, C portion of the game as I said at the beginning of the video. You get a couple of ships and one that you have to protect and you just have to s go out here and, and there'll be like six or seven enemy ships along here and you got to go way down over here to the red zone. So if you don't like land battles you can do that. But we are almost have arrived So now Davis has got to 60. Now he used to be like 56 or something. So he's got to 60. And this one was at 60. I think he was at 62. So he got to 66. So that's why when I made these units, I picked the morale because I knew... You just run around with these guys and they will gain stamina. And I and I'll and I'll just give you a hint of when I play Ultimate General Civil War, I always pick the stamina, even though you can do what I'm doing right now and get them stamina. Because in that game you need stamina and speed. So anyways. So Davis, at least I got Davis up to 60. So that's good. Because he was like 50-something. So, I mean, I got him up to 60. So that's not bad. And um, Eastman, he's now 67. He's supposed to get to somewhere over here. And then we'll end it. But maybe he'll get to... Uh, And I can run them a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Well, maybe he'll just stay at 67, but it's okay. All right, this was just to show you that um, you can build Stanima by running the units around. But, so we'll finish. All right, well, that's it. 
Bunker Hill. Now, the enemy... They had nine ships, 176 guns, 2,500 uh, crew. They lost seven ships. <laughs> we, can't, we can't capture them. The dev made sure you can't do that. And I killed 1,492 of their crew. Now their army strength was 925 with three guns. They lost 670, three guns, 181 missing. I only had one ship and 390. That's it. And it looks like I only lost 35, so that's not bad. Now, army strength, now they gave us allies of nearly 3,000, so that's really good. And six guns. And they, they lost... They lost a thousand, so they lost a third of what they had. The goals. Now, if you only got one of those, you get a draw, but, you know, victory, okay. These are the units. Yep, so the biggest thing is the sunk ships, though. It's too bad you can't capture them. And uh, Davis got promoted. And that's nice. We got, got three of the six-pounders. I'd rather have the six-pounders than the four-pounders. And nice. I'll be able to equip the ship with this. 735 we captured along with 555 of them. So some units had this with the sword. So the enemy must have had, had, had a lot of that. But we must have had some allies that had that gun too. We didn't get much here or there. But that's the battle. All right, but again, that's under easy, but with scaling. So it's hard to judge it right now. And Bunker Hill, 48, that, and two career. Now, I think what I want to do is bump because my whole point about playing easy is to get the 15% along with another 25% so you have 40% extra cash per battle. So I just need one more point here. And we can look at this ship here. Oh, and you can see that they gave us the Andradoria. Yeah, they gave us the Andradoria. But she's a rookie. And I have these two ships. I could decide what to do with. And here. Oh, and look at... They got a perk. Now, of these, like I said, I've mentioned it, that I like the morale, melee, and stanima. You can go plus 500 firearms, minus 10% on accuracy. 
So a faster reload, but minus 10% on accuracy. This one is the plus for accuracy, but, but reload is slower. And firearms. So if you want slower reload, you can get accuracy and you can get firearms. Like I, I usually don't do these. Or do I just stick with this? I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. I, I'm thinking about Marksman. Take a little bit longer to reload, but you get 10% on accuracy and you get 10% on firearms. Because over here, you can gain stamina just by running around, so... But the melee and the morale is what I normally do. So I'll just go ahead and do that, because, you know, video is pretty long. Yeah, I'll do the same. All right, so we gained a perk by fighting that battle. And I think uh, we can just go ahead and go to the end chapter. We stood together in our darkest hour, unwilling to retreat until our last charge of powder had been expended. British troops have great stockpiles of ammunition but f force of arms will not suffice to win this war when men are determined to have liberty or have death congress has approved a series of offensive operations on land and sea to demonstrate our resolve to the british and their king we have much to do Okay, um, hmm. 800 or one rep. I'll take the one rep for now. So we got rid of our prisoners. And I'm not going to read this. So I'll pause this. Uh, this is basically, you know, again, tells about the Boston Massacre at Bunker Hill. And a Majesty uh, Lu Luis. And it talks about me with support. Okay. And we got a letter, and then we have meals. So, again, like I said, you always want to look at three ships. Three ships. So, no matter what, three ships on each of these and the game gave me this one and you know I had this one and then these two I captured and then the Erlison so what I will do in this video is I'll just go ahead and show it's a long video but I'll, I'll show that what I normally would do seeing they're not land battles these guys now have two perks. So I can minimize them to 60. And that'll give me 117 with good, pretty good stats. And look at their endurance is 100%. And I can do the same to this one. Because don't forget, I created these two units from this ship right here. So now I have 200, and I know this ship can have, now if I were to use the reserves, I would gain a perk. So if I go to minimal, I can gain a perk, it looks like. Let me see.
Now, can I gain a perk by putting people in here? Okay, so not, well, only to a certain point. So maybe to optimal, no? No, I have to go past optimal to get that. Well, we'll give them their first perk. And now, um, with these ships here, I'm going to take off their guns that I captured. All right. Now, and I'm going to take those guns off. And I'm going to take these guns off. Okay, so um, I need three ships for the battle, so that means I could technically get rid of one of these ships. And what I will um, think about is, first of all, uh, oh no, right here, okay. Oh no, I don't want the Armstrongs. Wait a minute. No, I want this one. Oh, but it's going to cost five rep. See, that's very expensive. Oh my gosh. It's going to cost me five rep. Hmm. Man. Wow. See, the American campaign sucks. You know, in a British campaign, you can buy all the guns you want. But in an American campaign... And that's going to take a lot of my money. So I can't really do that. As much as I want to. All right, so this will give me 4,000. So now I have 10,000. Alright, because we're scrapped scrap for money right now, I'll buy a cheap officer. Uh, yeah, let me put minimum on him. Oh, and it looks like, hey, we have these guns. We have 30 guns. But I'll probably want more, so let's go with these. And I get two perks by doing that. Because I'm thinking about making one fire ship anyways. So maybe I should um, go ahead and do that. This way I'll have an option. Okay, well, I'm going to have to uh, consider. Okay, now if I did this to this ship here, we need 18 of those. How about Andrew Doria? We still need 18, so. All right, so suppose I do that. I have this gun that I want. Now I'm strapped for money.
And I can go with max crew. And so it's not going to cost me anything. Oh, because I'm using reserves. Oh, and actually, I wanted those guns on the Andrew Doria, but, oh, well, I put them on this one, so I, I can take them off. Let me see. Could take them off for just a moment and put them on here. So I have 18 of them. And can I get this crew up to at least optimal? Okay, so I can do that. So now on this one, I will not be able to, I'll have to put the guns that were on the ship back on. And that were these. So the only ship that I bought guns for specifically would be the ship that I'm on. And the question is, can I get my crew up to max? It costs that amount of money. Now, we do have these. All right, so both of these ships have that. And now, all I really got to do is let's get the guys on the ship. And I just barely have enough. And if I look at this, I've got all this in my armory. And I even got some naval guns that I can sell if I have to. Officers. It's like we have plenty at the moment. Hey, and here's here's me in the game. But of course I made myself right here. But I know I'm in the game, you know, also and that's cool. I'm right here. I can I can I can buy I can oh I, I don't have the buff buddy. I can buy myself. Yeah, usually when I just start this game out, I don't usually pop up in here, but I'm here. So I'll hire myself, just for the heck of it, I'll have myself there. That's funny. Alright, I think I'm ready for the next battle. That'll be what it'll be. So as always, I like to save. American Easy Easy Adaptation 2. All right, friends, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're doing really good. Have a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. God bless you and your religion. This is Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos.